Joshua is a warrior that's... Uh, how do I describe this? He's like that European-looking trope character who always care about fashion and boasting about how he's stronger than you, but in reality, he just suck. His base attack is really low at 374, and his skills are very basic. A 3 hit 65 that buffs himself up, which is pretty strong since he buffs himself, but because he has a low base attack, the self buff doesn't matter that much. A 260 power sword nuke that can also kind of inflict paralysis, but since paralysis is kind of a small bonus, it's just a 1 260 single target attack. What does make him stand out a bit though is that he does have a passive where on every single turn you have a 20% chance for your skill to act twice that turn. Now this passive was at least 50%, he would probably see at least some kind of play, but 20% is too low to rely on. 20% mean that on average, only one fifth of the time he will perform better than the other current warrior that we have, and the other full fifth, he just not as good as the other warrior that we have. In short, Joshua relied too much on RNG for him to work, and if his RNG is not lucky, then he just suck. To show how underperformed he has compared to the other warrior, Joshua at his base form without his passive activated is worse than Fior, which is our ever first 5 star warrior we have in this game. Oh, and as a quick note, this is the guy where in Oberic Chapter 2 in the original Octopath Traveler, you go into the arena in Victor, Victor Hollows and you fight this guy as one of the contestants. 